All right, hello there and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. It's been a little while, again, funny that. I left off in Fresno, I was meaning to explore more of California again. We, we aren't going to get to that for a while, because once more there is another DLC, which we can actually go straight to Little Rock looks like, that's interesting. I kind of appreciate that, I'm not going to, but I appreciate it. Okay, Springdale and Fayetteville being right next to each other is annoying because we're going to do deliveries between each of them. So we're going to have to go like to there, there, down, back, something like that. Who knows? We'll figure something out. For now, I think the gateway makes sense to be Texarkana. I don't know if that has a side in Arkansas as well. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, so it's a split city. Let's go there anyway. And there's also the Happy Halloween event going, so we're going to maybe work towards that too, if we can. So that's 13 Halloween treats deliveries. It means that there's going to be more deliveries available for us doing the normal cruising event that normally requires us to just like go to particular places in a state. So we've got to go to 10, all 10 cities in Arkansas. We go next. Hey, it actually gives you checkboxes now. That's nice. So yeah, Texarkana AR. That'll be where we start. Well, hopefully. It'll have warped me to the Texas side. I'm going to have to then make sure I pick up a delivery from the AR side. And that's, yeah, 10 different deliveries. Each has to be at least 100 miles. Once again, they haven't got rid of that stupid requirement. Never mind. <laughs> they never do. We'll see how many of those we can also make Halloween treats, and then we can swap to ETS2 for the rest. So first things first, jobs. <laughs> Texarkana AR2TX. Funny. Uh, we should go treats. There we go. And... No, let's see, that's TX to AR. There we go, okay. AR to AR. There's none shorter. There's nothing to El Dorado or Hot Springs. The fact that there's no deliveries at all to the closer destinations is slightly troubling. A sign of things to come, I think. Never mind. Mind you, this is only 143 miles. That's the thing is, they've got a 100 mile minimum requirement, but Arkansas is not a big state. Like, it's it's barely 200 miles across. Yeah, this is going to be a frustrating one, I can already tell. Well, for now, I don't want articulated. We'll stick with gypsum. Gypsum, trucks and something. God, not sure what. Don't know where I was going with that. Well, we have our new Mack truck still. Which I think I decided was decent. I think I still prefer my Volvo, but... Oh, we are right in between. We could go either way on this. I'm going to go this way. Oh, it's tricky as well because we've not actually been here before to the garage. Let's zoom this out. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's because I've changed the city. Because I was thinking, I've been to Texarkana before. Yeah, but I've completely changed everything. <laughs> so all of these roads are now new, apparently. Even the ones that we've probably been on before. Never mind. Yeah, we've been on the intersection up here, but it doesn't think we have. That's kind of weird. Oh, we've still got to pick up our trailers. This is actually quite a ways out of town already. It's interesting. Makes me wonder if our circle was too small to pick up all of the Texarkana deliveries from the Arkansas right. side because we were right. on the Texas side. Uh, we'd started on the left. Hmm. Right. That's making me wonder. We've just got to really hope we get lucky later on in the piece. <laughs> but otherwise, this, this one might drag on. It doesn't feel like it should, but... If we have to just rely on driving to a new city in order to pick up its delivery and then do a large delivery to a place that doesn't qualify, doesn't advance our counter, that's a lot of extra driving we have to do. And I prefer not to just fast travel all of the time to just bamf between cities. But we might just resort to that if we have to. Drop the load and go. I do not have infinite time, unfortunately. <laughs> this was the only game that I played, 
and I had a lot more time to play it, it would be less of an issue. It does frustrate me when game developers seem to cater far too much for those that do have that amount of time on their hands. I get it to an extent because that is like their largest investing player base. I can't even... S I knew that I was going to hit the ball out there. This is why I usually have the virtual mirrors on. I don't know why I haven't put them on again yet. Okay, looking out this side at least shows me how close I am to the fence, and then I can just angle the truck a bit better. There we go. Get on with it. All right, before we set off, let's check our routes. Obviously, it's all going to be new roads, but I want to make sure that it is a decent route. Okay, it's just up the 30. There's not really alternative. We could drive through El Dorado. There's not much benefit in doing so. The only reason to do that would be to discover the city so that I could then fast travel there rather than relying on getting a delivery to there. Something to consider, for sure. That might be something that we leverage later. Jonesboro is going to be interesting because it's probably not 100 miles from Little Rock. Well, there's not much deviation we can do from that. Alright, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Let us move to Scenic View. Not that the trailer's much to look at. I was really hoping to get some of the Halloween ones going, because they've got funky trailer designs, but failing that, we can at least appreciate the view. And experience a little bit of Arkansas. That I am going to be alternately calling Arkansas and Arkansas, because I can never decide which one I prefer. It'll want me to stop at the way station. I guess I should. Yeah, okay. Only because it's going to discover the road. Alright. <laughs> and it means in the future I can just blast past and ignore it. Once I've been in there once. Okay. No, we're going to have to wait our turn. Have they ever thought about having multiple lanes? Oops. That's annoying because now he's going to not want to move for a bit. There we go. Yeah, pass the inspection. There we go. Doesn't take long. It's just the disruption of having to slow down from top speed. I'd only just gotten up to top speed and enabled cruise control and then had to slow down and move off again. It's... I feel that these things should not be on the freeway, they should be by the on-ramps to the freeway, so that you would do the way station and then jump on the main road. It's very disruptive otherwise, because now I've got to get all the way back up to top speed. I'm not going to get up to top speed before the end of the merging lane, which means that other traffic is inconvenienced. It's just not smart. Anyway. Trucks 70. Well, unfortunately for me, that still means 65. If fairly short delivery at least, I think we're looking at about 5 minutes up the road. Hey Razor, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. I just remembered that I normally have my mug on the other side of the desk because my left hand is my steering thumb for this. Um, and I was reaching for my drink with my left hand, which meant I was just drifting across the road. So, hmm. <laughs> Let's see, it's just angled. That looks pretty straight. Let's just move that over there okay and now correct there we go excellent smooth 
Hype indeed. We have a stream, ladies and gentlemen. We have a stream. <laughs> that isn't from a hospital ward with terrible audio. I actually have a microphone this time. I haven't even looked back at, at how those came out, but I, I don't expect well. One of them even got split up because the connection dropped. Ew dear. <laughs> Also got some more backing music that we're trying. Stuff that I've been using on some of my videos. I think this one I used on one of my time lapses. feel very empty I mean I don't mind not having the traffic density but this is a big city <laughs> isn't it Deep left little rock discovered the natural state two out of eight why only eight I'm confused because it has me going to ten different cities I'm fairly sure huh I guess there's the one in the northwest where it's like two cities combined, so maybe that only counts as one. It's still weird. I also see a photo opportunity, so let us get to the bridge up here maybe, and then look back. I don't know what it is I'm meant to be looking at. Oh, it's just Little Rock Panorama. I can dig that. I'm perfectly pleased with that. Can we get this big sign out of our face? There we go. That's more like it. Day and weather. I mean, it is a little bit bright, isn't it? Oh, there we go. That looks better with the blue sky instead. Nice. Time to jump in the cab, I think. There was a helicopter up there. Keep right, and then turn right. Time to slow down. And there is a viewpoint on the other side as well, so after we drop the trailer, we can go check that out. Dumpling Palace. Alright. Go straight. Lunchtime, anyone? Waffletopia. Okay, now I'm really hungry. Keep right, and then turn right. Rockport. And apparently Taylor as well. Go two and one. Security check. Okay. Imagine if you could do things that actually affected your security value. Like <laughs> too many crashes and they actually bar you entry. But yeah, no, we don't trust you. Turn left. I would be banned from so many places. But this delivery went pretty smoothly. I'm going to play it safe. I'm not going to just leave it sitting at the entrance, but nor do I care about doing anything particularly complicated. It's wild though that the one that involved driving the furthest and backing it in was only a 40 XP. There's definitely been ones where I've got 90 for doing less. Two out of ten on Cruising Arkansas. We've got Little Rock and the Texarkana half dealt with. Now let's see where we can go next that is a hundred miles away minimum. 